Welcome to the Enjoying Your Life channel. Today, I am at Good Fortune and Spa. I'm going to make candles. I'm in a candle class today, here this Sunday. I'm not for sure if I'm gonna be by myself or if other people are coming, but I have a whole bunch of candles in front of me. They told me to just get started, to look and see what my favorite kind is, and then we will go ahead with the candle making and get it all set up. I'll show you what I can. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. We need that here. I appreciate you. So far, this Southern Stables smell good and this mistletoe, but I've only smelled a few so far. It looks like we have probably 50 different fragrances right here. Let's see, what haven't I smelled before? Let's see, Beachwood, White Time, Rosemary, tea ginger and then if it smells a little off we'll find out mm -hmm. I know the crackling fire can get a little bit Strong, so is it too strong in there? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah. Do you like how this smells? Do you want to do anything about it? No, I like it. All right, I just hope it comes out like that on that candle. It should. I just did equal parts. Uh -huh. so. So she told me to fill these up into this to overfilling. And then we will mix. So I picked three different kinds here. Would you like me to bring you these? I'll bring everything over to you. Okay.
And the same process could be used for aftershave, beard oil, body spray, pure oil, element spray, roll on, soap or lotion, and a saw strap, <laughs> and a body oil. Okay. The only difference is the amount of oil you put into the product. Just the difference. Okay. Good to know. I don't know if any of you made candles at home before, but this looks pretty genius. That you can make all of this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so the on a piece of paper, it just sits with your candle while it's cooling. Mm -hmm. It's really sweet, though. It's your candle. We don't want to it to the other person. You don't have to worry about the shipping address or the city or anything unless you do want it shipped. But if you want to come pick it up, don't worry about it. And then the smaller piece of paper is just your label. That's how you name your candle. And so it's a sticker that's going to go on the side of the jar. Okay. Sounds good. All What do I do next? I'm just going to center the wick, mm -hmm. and then that's the whole, that's all, that's all of it. It's not a huge long process, I think it's, it's the whole making your own scent, mm -hmm. so it's like yours, you made it. I, love that all about it. That's about it. It usually takes around three hours to harden. Okay. It usually doesn't take around three hours, but we just say that just in case something doesn't go right with it. Sounds good. So what is that that you have in there? You just melted wax? It's soy wax. Yes, ma'am. So it's, I don't know the huge got my candle. I actually came and got it a little earlier than three hours because I need to get home on the other side of town. But they said not to burn it for about two weeks. I'll just take it home and just let it sit a little longer. I'm not going to put my fingers in it or anything like that. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said before, please become a subscriber and like the video. It costs nothing. It's free. And as always, until next time, I love you.